What's up everyone, uh, just a bit of an update here. We've been in lockdown for about a month now. Um, probably gonna have at least one more week, maybe two. Um, unfortunately for me, we locked down really, really quickly. So uh, I was at work, I left at about four o'clock. This was on a Tuesday, about a month ago. Um, and effectively there were rumors that, that something was gonna happen. And then that afternoon, uh, we were told we're going into lockdown so unfortunately for me i didn't have time to go stock up with all the things that i needed um so it's kind of been a bit of a jumble fortunately i was able to get some stuff really recently um, i had another cabinet that was being folded up and it was just sitting there it was in the way um, and i was told i could go and pick it up get it out of the way so contactless pickup basically just bolt and we went to get our groceries and threw it all on the truck so um, i've got a little bit to do now um, there are a couple of other things that I've been doing to keep myself busy. I just thought uh, I might throw into a video. Um, not a whole lot's changed really. I've been doing a little bit of um, R&D, just trying to change the way I do a couple of things, um, see if I can get some small improvements, um, bit of bang for buck sort of thing. Um, when you get into this, this area where you're trying to be as um, efficient as possible and as low a budget as possible, uh, you get to a certain point and then it's very, very difficult to get a any further than that. So um, I've been doing a little bit of that. Um, not really anything to report, to be honest. Uh, made a mess, cleaned up, threw a whole bunch of stuff out. Um, but I'll just quickly go over a couple of things that I've been doing. So if you turn the gear, um, this is my Navara. Um, swapped it out a little while ago and it had a ton of rust in it. Um, and that's all been cut out now so um, the roof had to be reskinned um, so that's been done now um, there was a heap of rust in through the top up here um, now that when I reskinned that I basically um, cut off all the parts um, well unstitched all the parts and I had a spare roof uh, you can see back there had a spare roof so I just cut off the rest um, of what was needed and um, stitch that back in so nice and strong again um, was able to do that without damaging anything um, underneath any of the the roll protection um, so I'm happy with that that was a really really big mess I might throw on some photos to show you what that looked like before that was done um, I've got this here as well covering everything this is the beginning beginnings of a uh, vibratory tumbler uh, hopefully it may just be a big pile of scrap but um, I'm going to change how that is. Um, I've got all those springs out of washing machine, um, but I'm going to change the way that that, that runs and I'm going to fit them on a flat bar down a little bit lower um, and then get that cut open. But that's gone to the back burner along with this because now um, I've got a whole bunch more parts. So this is a frame of an 8080 going together. Um, and then there's a 1280 over there. So like I mentioned, I was short of parts um, And I wasn't able to really get into these so really happy now that I've got these um, That's just something for me to uh, Get through over the next uh, week or so uh, it was unfortunate this one here has um, Already been I uh, had a deposit paid on it um, And at that stage I wasn't sure how long it was going to take I gave a time frame of 8 to 12 weeks uh, and then we went into lockdown for a month. So there are a few things I was able to do on it. And now I've gotten to the point where um, I can now put these uh, all together. And um, hopefully I can get as much done um, before we come out of lockdown. And then it's just a matter of picking up a few parts. Um, so yeah, that's just a quick update of where I'm at. Cheers.